Hello, welcome to Rachel's studio. And today I wanted to do a as quick as possible video about Christmas ideas for your beloved artist. And most of these will be targeted towards watercolor artists, but some of the things would be of interest to any artist. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the thing that uh, inspired this video is I just got this mask in the mail and it is so adorable. So let me model it for you. It's got all these different watercolor pans on it with different colors. And I just love it. It's got a nice bendable um, nose piece. So it really fits nice and snug over your face. Look how cute that is. Am I ready for Paris, you guys? Modeling? <laughs> but I love this and it is by a seller on Etsy. Her name is Michelle Tricky, and on Etsy, her shop is Shell Art Teach, C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Art Teach. So I will link all this stuff below. But all right, my next suggestion, and these are all my favorite art supplies, most of which I've discovered in 2020. They might not be new to everybody, but they're new to me and I love them. So these are all my favorite discoveries. And I will start with my new watercolor that I really like. And I find a lot of these on online forums. And when people talk about a certain color over and over and over again, I'm like, I need to try that. So I tried Daniel Smith Moon Glow. The thing that is so special about this Moon Glow is how it granulates. So granulating paint is a paint that has larger flecks in it that are almost like sediment and they settle out and granulate and make little texture effects. So Moon Glow is kind of a purple paint. So there's Moon Glow. It's really very pretty. Another color that I like that is new to me, Daniel Smith Green Appetite. It's another granulating paint that I bought just because of the granulation. So there's Green Appetite. Other colors that I have enjoyed I've rediscovered a vermilion. I used to have a vermilion and it wasn't light fast, so I had to abandon it. But apparently this uh, paint, French vermilion, I think it's by Sennelier, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's a beautiful warm red, orange, almost orange red, and it mixes well with yellow and blue, I found, surprisingly enough which I would not think an orange red would mix as well with blue as this one does. These are great stocking stuffers. These little tubes of watercolor paint are uh, around 10 to 12, maybe $15, but they will last your loved artist, beloved artist or yourself. If you're treating yourself, it'll last, a tube will last you a year or more, depending on how much you use it. Another wonderful gift idea uh, this is a set of, I think, I believe these are squirrel hair, and these are called silver black velvet squirrel hair brushes. This is a three quarter oval, this is a size eight round, and this is a size one script brush. And they come as a set, you can buy them separately too, but this set is $45 on Amazon. You can also buy it, I believe, on Dick Blick, but Again, these brushes um, were discovered by me because artists on forums just continue to talk about them every single time someone asks the question, what's your favorite brush? Silver Black Velvets came up. Uh, it's like 80% of the artists answered that their favorite brushes were Silver Black Velvets, and they're really great. And to me, $45 for three brushes is not very expensive, especially for what you get. And I've had these I've had these probably about a, I don't know, six months, maybe a year even, I don't know, but they're, they've held up well. Another good gift idea for you beloved artists out there is washi tape. You can use washi tape to tape down your paintings. And this is a set that I got and I will link it below. They're really pretty, but there's tons of different washi tapes that you can get online. I'll link to this particular company. The next thing I want to show you guys is the Fudenosuke Tombow Calligraphy Brush. And there's all different colors, water-based pigment ink, soft tip, 
Uh, and I got this to do a tutorial for my Christmas tutorial. I'll show you. So I did a beginner's tutorial using uh, what is called a line and wash or ink and wash uh, technique that's kind of easy and straightforward for beginners. So I bought this pen just to do this painting for my beginning students on Patreon. And by the way, join me on Patreon if you would like to see the full video real time so you can paint along with me and use this pen to create this beautiful Christmas mousse. It's a lot of fun. And so let's see what it looks like on the paper. So you can do a light touch like this and get a thin, really thin line or you can do thin, push down, get thick. So you can get really pretty calligraphy effects with this. It really has a very beautiful, easy flow to it that almost makes it easy to do calligraphic brush strokes, which I find challenging to do but I really enjoyed working with this pen. It was really easy and it's just fun to play with. So things that are fun to play with make great Christmas gifts. So I highly recommend it. And again, I'll link that below. Okay, another find for me for 2020 was this. Now this isn't a very flashy Christmas gift, but I've always liked Christmas as a time to stock up thing on things that I need that will be money out of my pocket. So um, this is a great thing for a watercolor artist in particular. Uh, it's 3M medical tape, Micropore surgical medical tape. I buy it on Amazon. I get eight rolls. I think it was between eight and nine dollars for eight. So it's not expensive. And this is a cute little thing you can pop in a stocking too. And uh, it will adhere to both your paper and your backing board. I use Elmer's backing boards, and then I have been taping down my paper with this Micropore um, 3M medical surgical tape. It does have little pores in it, and that's why I also use washi tape with it. So I tape my painting down with this, and then I put washi tape over that. And this has been a game changer for me because uh, the masking tape that I've been using comes up when I put water over it. It doesn't stick to my paper well. It doesn't stick to my backing board. I have not found a tape that has made me happy until this. So I'm so very happy to finally have a tape that serves me through thick and thin of painting with really wet, watery washes where the masking tape would come up. This does not. It sticks. It's great. I love it. It's a game changer. So this is a great gift. And uh, it's also just a great thing to have if you're a watercolor artist. This is a, uh, my final thing is a really fun paper to play with if you paint cats or dogs or long-haired animals. Even landscapes would be interesting with this paper. This is Japanese paper. It's called White Watson. And here in the United States, it is really expensive to buy because it has to come all the way from Japan. I believe when I ordered this, it came all the way from Japan. So I bought it in bulk so that I only had to pay all that shipping once. So it was probably like $50 for one of these. So when you go on Amazon and you search, just search White Watson on Amazon and there's different sizes. So F4, F2, um, I'm not sure what other F sizes there are. But that's what that's referring to, which I didn't know when I was looking for this because it was all in Japanese. But F4 is this size. Um, it's about, I don't know, probably 14 by um, 10 inches, maybe. Uh, but it's a great size and you can get really wonderful, wonderful fur effects with this paper. But it is expensive if you're living in the States. And if you're in Japan, which probably most of you are not, it's not, it's probably not any more expensive than any other paper. But uh, this is a really fun paper to gift because it's not practical, but it's fun. And uh, I learned about it for, from Yutaki, Yutaka Murakami, who is kind of a famous cat artist in us cat art painters circles, because he does these beautiful fluffy furry cats and so I asked him how do you do that and um, we went back and forth and then finally he said uh, really the paper makes all the difference it's this white Watson paper and I was like La! 
he's given me the secret key. So I was so excited to learn that. So I bought several sheets of this white Watson paper and I like to play with it when I can. And so uh, this is um, one of those treat gift ideas for your watercolor artists out there um, who might wanna try something new, but because of the expense, they're not gonna do it unless you buy it for them <laughs> or you buy it for yourself as a Christmas treat. I almost forgot the best Christmas present you could possibly give, a gift subscription to my Patreon. When you join my Patreon, you also get free downloadable traceables, access to my library, supply lists, and list of my favorite paint colors. So be sure to join me there. If you want to see a visual index of what is available, you can go to www.ritualstudio.com slash Patreon index. All right, you guys, I think that's it. So I hope I gave you a lot of good ideas about what to get your beloved watercolor artist or what to give yourself this Christmas season as a special treat. And, and click the like button, leave me a comment, watch this video to the end, that's what helps me the most. And I really appreciate all of that social media love. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much, bye.